Unfortunately, the Mustang is becoming an issue because I live in a neighborhood with HOA and they're complaining that it's an unoperable vehicle and they're threatening to find me. I really didn't want this car to get all messed up. I wanted to have fun with it, but it's about time that we actually apply some effort and fix up this vehicle so that it's functional and I don't get fines from the HOA. I don't really know why they have a problem right here though. They're saying that I'm like doing property damage. But I think with like a little bit of pulling and bending and some body filler, we can actually get this out and get this quarter panel flush. And same with the door, like this is all fixable stuff. The body's looking pretty straight and narrow. We just need to get a little bit of filler on there, pull it out. So the car is gonna get body work. It's gonna get a whole respray and it's gonna be looking pretty much brand new and the neighbors won't have to complain about it to the HOA anymore. Yeah, it's always been an issue. Like here we have the TJZ Miata, the Evo, we have the Beamer. We got a lot of cars and we also have the truck. We're sick of all my loud cars, me coming and going at all hours hours of the night. I think with the Mustang, it just kind of was the last straw, but we're going to make it right. I know I'm going to get a lot of judgment. Here's what you need. You're going to need some Bondo. You can get this at Walmart. You can get it at AutoZone or Riley's. Doesn't matter. You're going to need some quality putty knives. And these are what professionals use in body shops. You're going to need a cheese grater for the Bondo to shape it. And then after all the prep work is done, which is the most important part, you're going to get your paint. We're using turbo cans because they're some of the best quality products on the market. This is gonna give you that professional look and everyone's gonna be confused of how your paint job came out looking so good. You guys can see, shut the f up. Hold on, let me film this real quick. As you guys can see, we have like a, a high spot here. Perfect. Okay, that's ready for some filler. We got our body filler. Uh, we got our hardener, so we just start mixing it up. Just want to mix this up like you would be making some mashed potatoes or if you were to have some vanilla ice cream and put some Hershey's chocolate syrup in there. You want to make sure there's lots of air pockets in the body filler. Okay, that's enough hardener. That's good. That's enough. Mix this stuff up really good. I'm going to come to the affected area and you want to contour it back to where the body lines. We're trying to bring back the body lines right here. Oh, there's the cap. So it's good to put some objects inside of there. I don't know if you guys seen those Chinese videos where they put like macaroni and like a bug, like a cockroach, and then they just put like super glue and then color match it perfectly. That's what we're doing here. This is about the whole container of Bondo right here. This should suffice. The body lines are actually starting to come back pretty nice as you guys can see. I just wanna make it possible for you guys to learn how to do all this stuff so you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Massage it in nice. Now we just kind of want to smooth it out. You don't want a harsh line with body filler because if you were to just glob it on like that, if you don't smooth it over, when you go to shape it, it's like a harsh edge and you'll be able to see that in the prep work after you spray it. Kind of just want to grab a scoop. You can see the hardener bottles in there and that will kind of just blend all together. Look how much better that looks. This is only $20 worth of body filler that we're putting into this. Dude, what is this? Dude, I tried. No, 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 no. Here, here, let me show you how it's done. That's not how it's done, man. We'll show you how it's done. Yeah, just like that, mix it up. Watch, watch and learn, okay? See how there's a dent right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. What dent? You see what I'm saying? Dent disappears. This stuff's only $20 at Walmart. And then you take the knife and you smooth it out. Dude, I'm so excited for springtime to take this thing to all the car meets. Everyone's gonna think this is sick. Are we doing the wide body on this one? Narrow body on this side? No, the wide no, body on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time to spray it. Yeah. That's JDM, dude. Hey, that's JDM. Now I just need to mask the car off because all the prep work's done. We can mask those off. Yeah, right. No, we'll mask those off, don't worry. See, there's all these lines right here. Like there's a gap here and then super tight here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that actually. Look how much cleaner that is right there. 
You don't want overspray on anything like the windshield or the mirrors. I'm gonna take your time, obviously with the prep work, but additionally with masking off the vehicle. It's super important. Make sure you completely get the windows masked off clean. I hate overspray, it's the worst. It's so annoying. Just take the time to do it right. All right, we need to hurry up and get this done. I'm gonna show you how it's done with the turbo pan. I get a nice even pattern like this. You wanna blend it in the bottom? Blend it. Let's smoke the headlights a little bit. Dang, this thing looks mean now. What the heck? Why is it so red right there? No, it's dripping. No. Wait, what? How do you? Maybe hit it from the other side. Like that? I feel like these don't look as good as I thought they would. No, oh, that looks pretty good. A clean paint job going, but we do need to color match the engine bay. That's gonna give it the final extra touch that everyone's gonna drool over. Look how boring this is. Yeah, well, it's time to spice it up. Look at that contrast. I'm serious when I say, you guys can get the same results at home too. So I don't want you to feel discouraged from trying. I made this YouTube channel so I could show that it was possible to everyone out there, the DIYers, that you can do it too. It's looking pretty good, but we're missing one thing. Racing stripes. That's a beauty. The HOA is gonna be hyped. The HOA is gonna love, they're gonna love me. They're gonna, in fact, they will probably wanna pay me money now. That looks super nice. That's crispy. That looks really good. Yeah, we're just paying my car. Get your car? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, we're not getting, it's only on the car and we're like finishing up right now. Just trying to show people at home that they can, you know, get professional paint jobs done, mm -hmm. and they don't have to spend all the money. You just use uh, Bondo and the turbo cans, and it, and it can come out like this. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're out here being productive, you know. Sure, she's on the phone with the cops. For sure. I think the cops are coming. So before they do, take your masking tape off to get that final crispy line that you're all looking for. There we go. No overspray whatsoever. We're looking clean. I can't wait to take some clean rulers of this car now. People want to reach a point of success like this, but it's hard for them to. A crowds of people and they just stare at you. You break everyone's necks. Ugh, that was giving me a headache. A little bit of creativity and a little bit of hard work you can have results like this yourself at home believe in yourself and know that it's possible obviously there's a little bit of wet sanding a little cutting and buffing that we have to do to make this look perfect but as of now i mean it doesn't get much better than this
And what did we spend? We spent only like $100 on supplies and we got these results.